What's going on everyone? It's Moto Miracle. In today's video, we are at Harley Davidson in Baltimore and we're at the Royal Enfield Demo Day. Today, we're doing a test ride on the Himalayan. I got the saddlebags. I am so excited about this bike. It's going to be a gorgeous ride, amazing ATV bike. Hope you all enjoy this ride. Uh, anyways, let's quit the intro and let's check out this video. What's good afternoon my channel, I'm just traumatic brain injury survivor with the second chance at life. I want to share my journey too through my eyes. This is so comfortable, oh my gosh, like I'm already, I already know I'm going to love this bike, I already know it. This is like a dual sport, you can take this off-road. Yeah, this is off-roading, that's yeah. This is more, that's more of like a hardcore off-road. Yeah, I'm, I'm ready for it. <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking about that one man. Yeah. Have you ever ridden this before? No, it's my first time. I did the Harley version, they had the Harley has one, I rode that one. It's like 10 grand or something? Yeah, it's a lot. Yeah. I mean, I, I own a Harley, so. I got a, a 1200. Yeah, yeah, I have a sport, uh, sport glide. Sport glide? It's all the way in the back. You can see my bike. Yeah. Ride safe, man. Yep. Thanks. It's beautiful right now. So we got the Himalayan. I got the bags on this baby. It's raining right now, so hopefully this battery. <laughs> hopefully this GoPro doesn't die on me. We'll see when we ride how it goes. Oh, sorry. Oh, turn it off. Sorry. Sorry, it's just more editing you have to do later. I apologize. How do y'all feel about riding in this? If you're good, right? If you're good? All right, what we're going to do is take the shorter route. That route I just explained, we're not doing that. We're going to take a much shorter one because it looks like it's going to stop if everybody sees the blue sky here. The blue sky there. So we're going to do the shorter route. It's much shorter. If you don't feel comfortable, it's okay to let us know and we'll pull you out now. All right, start this, baby. All right, so we're going to do uh, actually a shorter rider than the last than I did on the INT 650 because it's going to rain. You can tell that's coming. Like we missed it on the other one, which is good. But yeah, I already know I'm going to love this bike more. It's um all the the clutch and everything is more um it's definitely more. It's the other bike was too squishy. This bike is so far it seems like a nice uh, click. It's nice and more firm, and I like that. You know, but it's got the speedometer. It's got the RPMs, gas. It's got east. I can go east, south. It's great. Oh my gosh. It's got the time over here. Royal Anfield. What's going on? This is amazing. This bike is just on point, baby. Ooh. Oh, I can't wait. I'm excited for this. Maybe instead of getting, you know, I wanted an ATV bike, so maybe I'll get a Himalayan after. Let's see how much power this is. I drove the Harley Davidson, the ADV Harley Davidson, and I love that bike, but there's no way I can ever afford it. Maybe I can afford this one. This is nice. It's got great acceleration just to the start. The clutch and the brakes, they're a lot more firmer, kind of like a Harley would do because you know, the Harleys had like a nice click when they had the shifting and then like same thing with like, it's a lot firmer. Like the other one was the, for the, some of the other bikes, like the INT 650 was a little loose this one's nice and like firm like i feel i can i can feel it all Woo! this is a very comfortable bike right now comfortable position i ride a 2018 harley davidson sport glide so 70 50 17 50 cc's where are we going bro 1750 cc's and it's got 700 pounds so obviously it i mean it weighs 700 pounds so it's very it's a very heavy bike this is like the second time i've ever been on a royal enfield it was the int 650 and now the himalayan but so they're definitely smaller bikes they're not as uh, as big as the harleys and let's see how it goes it, it definitely doesn't have it it's oh it's got the gear oh it's got a gear indicator on it too that's nice we're in fourth gear let's see how many gears we have nope this is my five gear right here so letting y'all know it's not as uh, as powerful as you know some of the other um adv bikes but while it's raining i can barely see out of my mirror the positioning is very comfortable i go on this bike all day very comfortably i don't think it has as much power as the 650 oh it does not i can go off those speed bumps like nothing with this adv with this himalayan i definitely would buy this bike for off-roading but not for like long distance i don't know if i'd go long distance with it because like i said i've got my harley davidson sport glide so it's got a cruiser so i can i can oh my gosh because so, i can probably last a, like all day on my sport glide you know it's a it's a beautiful bike i'll put a picture on my bike but yeah this is definitely for if i want to go off-roading all that stuff like that this is definitely a good one we are fogging up it's humid outside it is raining so i understand why we're doing a like a longer shorter ride i love this bike um it's very uh it's a very tall bike i can flat foot it though so that's good yeah i can definitely flat foot this baby um so that's a good thing um with the uh turning signals remember it's left and right and you got to push in to uh cancel it's not um 
it's not the self canceling like some of the Harleys do but this is so comfortable it has enough power but it doesn't have as much power as you know I'd like you know this is more for an, um, an ADV an out, uh, outdoor um, outgoing a bike for the you know for the for the dirt for the going crazy you know I mean obviously this is perfect probably for the rain you know all this good thing like I, I haven't slipped at all this is amazing well knock on wood so I hope this GoPro's uh, recording everything but yeah it's very light which is a good thing you know for some people I don't know a lot about the Himalayan or about Royal Enfield so I'm going to put all the descriptions all of the information down in the description but all I can say is I'm 6'1 and my feet I can definitely uh, flat foot it which is good but when you sit on the bike when you're riding I literally I feel like I'm in the sky you know like I feel like I'm on the airplane just cruising over over people I'm not sitting like I'm not cruising inside of the bike like my like my Harley would I'm more like I said I'm on top of the bike um, I feel like I'm floating over everyone you know I feel very secure very comfortable which is a good thing you know um but it's probably like I said uh, I, let's see like, can we stand up real quick oh, Did I get yelled at? I think, did they beep at me or did was I pressing the beep? Because I was going to go stand up real quick. I think they said no standing up and I kind of stood up. I wanted to try out this. It's definitely, like I said, it's not as um, much power as I thought it was going to have, you know? I thought, I mean, it, it's got power, see? This is definitely slower than the, you know, the uh, Sportster or whatever. Like, it, it's it's still, it's not, it's getting there. It's going from A to B, but, it's, you know, it's going fast, but it's not... It's it takes its time to go speed up, you know, it's a smaller bike I don't think it's even has 650 cc's. I don't even know how much it is But uh, like I said all that's in the description. I'll put it up here. Actually. I love this bike This is a very fun bike. I would definitely buy this one and just go around uh, go to Off-roading and go crazy. You know at first I was gonna say let me get a let me get a Grom instead Maybe I'll get this Himalayan. This is such a beautiful bike. So amazing. So beautiful. That was a short ride But it's okay. You know, I enjoyed it. Hope y'all enjoyed the ride too. Um, once I um, sit well once I take land <laughs> And once I pop, once I park the car, park the bike, I can um, I'll show y'all real quick. You know the the whole bike and everything. So yeah, this is a beautiful bike. It's it was a very comfortable ride. Very very comfortable ride. It's a beautiful bike. Um, yeah, very comfortable. Very gorgeous bike. Looks so good. Very very small. Like I said, I wish I had a little more power. But like I said, for the price it is, I'm pretty sure it's definitely worth the amount for the Himalayan. Like I said, it's not meant for those one of those huge bikes. It's definitely meant for a little a little ripper around onto the back roads. If there's anything you want to know, comment down below, put it down in the description, and I'll definitely answer it for you. But yeah, anyways, that was demo day at Royal Enfield with the Himalayan. So anyways, this is the end of the video. So if you like this video, then please press that like button. If you want to show us some love for this channel, then please press that subscribe button if you have not already subscribed. And please press that bell icon if you have future notifications. Till next time, y'all. Ride safe. Spread those positive vibes. Never give up. It's more of a miracle. And I'm out of here.